Good of a Star Eagle match too. It will be on the Zelnaga Caverns. Yeah. And this might be a little bit better. This kind of map uh, might be a little bit better for Star Eagle. Oh, yeah. And a lot smaller. It means aggression can come into factor a lot more. And he'll be able to engage Goody in different ways. Uh, and Goody's defense is going to have to be very solid if he wants to continue through it. But like the last game, if Goody does smell any form of weakness, woo, he's going to go straight in there and he take smells you out. your fear. He does, he does. Yes, he the really Panzer does. King, the mighty German mountain, as we like to call him right here. He is... He's dangerous. What else can you say about him other than him being absolutely lethal? I do like Goody's opening right there, though. Actually, the Marauder into the Reaper. It's good. I like it. It's mm -hmm. cool. Goody right here in the purple trunks on the Zelnaga Caverns. He is playing Terran versus his opponent, Star Eagle. In the pink trunks, he is also playing Terran. And I know we, I mean, a lot of commentators do talk about it, how stage presence does affect their games. And, and I really yeah. could see it in Star Eagle's play. Because oh, yeah. I was watching, you know, behind his back uh, today and yesterday. And he was quite a decent online player. He wasn't bad. He was, you know, winning uh, against decent people. Uh, but I just feel that we, I almost could say it was like a Diamond Terran player uh, playing because he continually got supply blocked. The, that early timing attack didn't work. I mean, yeah. it just felt like he wasn't playing his A game. Yeah. Uh, and I guess that's what happens when you play against such an opponent like Goody on stage. It's very frightful. Well, it's nerve-wracking to play against Goody to begin with. But yeah. playing against... This is the thing about stage presence, from what I've noticed, is that if we were to, say, take the league comparison and say, oh, well, you know, he's playing like a diamond player, anyone that doesn't have stage experience, to me, drops a league in terms of skill when they first go on stage. We've seen it before, actually. Huck is the best example. Yeah. Uh, in Intel Extreme Masters um, Cologne, uh, when I commentated with Day 9, it was Huck's first um, offline appearance. Yeah. And he sucked. He was terrible. He didn't have his hotkey set up right. Oh, he did have his hotkey, sorry. He didn't have uh, the sound done properly. His mouse settings were wrong. He just didn't feel comfortable. And, you know, that's why he brings his pillow and stuff to try to make that better, to try and feel like his home. And he just couldn't do it. And he didn't feel right. And that's something really big. And when you're a StarCraft player, you know your settings. You have everything in your head. You're like, all right, oh, I'm going to have my mouse set at 54% here and all that stuff. Huck didn't know because he, doesn't have to, he didn't have to change it. He never had to do anything. And so he literally spent an entire morning trying to figure out to get his mouse to feel like he was back at home. Yeah, and if we want to have an example that we both commentated, actually, back at the I-40, Randy versus Pure Ball. And Pure Ball's tournament experience, it just it shone, didn't it? I mean, Randy... Fell apart in that yeah, matchup. He I mean, really did. Randy's only played in, in a few UK tournaments, but Pure Ball's actually won world events. Yeah. He's actually played in the CPL, being a world champion, uh, and so like, he doesn't get scared. He knows what to do, uh, and he knows how to like jump on fear, like Goody does. Yeah. He will smell it out and put the pressure on you and force you to make mistakes. And basically, you you're seeing players that almost kill themselves. They hang themselves when they come on stage just by their own mistakes. And Goody didn't make any mistakes, played his A game just like he does on the ladder yep. uh, and just powered away to a victory. Hoisted his own batard. Hoisted by, hoisted by, hoisted. Yes, not hosted by his own batard. That would be silly. We do have another refinery coming down for Goody and no real aggression coming in from Goody as yet. Straight into a factory. And Star Eagle has got some interesting stuff going on right here, though. Looking to perhaps turn the tables just a little bit. Yeah, and it looks like Goody's gone very gas intensive. Most probably um, cloak banshees again. He got the second refinery before the factory, which is a clear indicator that he wants to be very gas intensive. Uh, but we do have a Reaper Expo build. Um, the Reaper's good. Yep, you're going to scout. That's excellent. You're going to see what's going on. But at the same time, you're expanding with versus this kind of play is going to be very hard because Goody's going to be very aggressive. He's going to be attacking different uh, areas on the map. Uh, and if you're Star Eagle, then you need to get the Engineering Bay up. He has to get turrets in place. He has to see th this. And as soon as he goes in with the Reaper, these are the things he needs to do. Engineering Bay, he needs to get a lot of units out and needs to prepare in all angles for this attack. And if he can do that, then he's going to be in a good situation. Absolutely. I will be concerned about Hellions right now. And I think Goody's going to push with that quite a little bit. And Star are coming down right now. Interesting. We will see what comes out of this one. What kind of thing would you predict from Goody going with this patented 1-1-1 build? It's very common on the ladder. Uh, well, he's saving up a lot of gas, as I said. He is going to go with this Hellion. And the timing is, you can get a Hellion out and then Tech Lab. And, and, the, and it's perfect timing for the Starport. This Tech Lab will finish when the Starport finishes yep. after one Hellion. Switch it up, get a Banshee, Banshee. get a Cloak. Yep. And he's going to move with this Hellion. Not going to waste a scan. Going to go and see. Because in his vision, he doesn't see the expansion. Is going to move down and see that for himself. And he's like, all right, no problem. I'm going to harass you to death. And that's well, how it's going to go. Indeed. Goody doesn't really have what he needs to do. Any harassment right here. Not even to actually take that Marine out at all. But, hey, he was able to nail down the Reaper with it. The Reaper took a Marine. And, you know, it, it didn't really learn anything either. It didn't actually get into the base. I should point this out. 
Star Eagle has no idea. He has not a single clue. He hasn't got into the base yet. That is how good Goody's defense has been. Yeah, he really defended against that Reaper extremely well. And But in anticipation for this, he does have the Engineering Blade being put down, which is really good. Uh, I, I guess it's a timing. He, he's a Terran player himself. Of and he knows, like, all right, by this time, if, ban if Banshees are coming, they should be coming. Like, looks at his watch. It's they should extremely be here common. If you're not able to scout, and if your opponent is actively denying you that, this is even something I, I ran into on Lower League. Ladders. This happens in Platinum upwards. If your scout is denied repeatedly by a Terran player, and it's aggressively denied, then you should assume Fast Banshee. Mm -hmm. You should, because mm -hmm. what else is it going to be? That is the real reason, because, because Banshees are countered so hard by ground-based anti-air defenses, you need to keep your opponent out of the base. But if you do it too much, then your opponent immediately assumes you will go Fast Banshee. So it's it's difficult. It's a two-edged sword doing it that way. And he has revealed his tech as these Marauders do go down. Um, a lot of Marines out. Not quite got Stim, but will have Stim too. It, Stim might finish in time. Oh, Ooh. it's so very close. Goody gets away. He almost has the cloak up as well. That actually finishes two seconds afterwards. But it's okay. And actually, Star Eagle doing a good job of defending against all of these approaches right here. And as long as he doesn't get supply capped like the previous game, he could go into a quite a big lead. Oh, yeah. um, we're going to have to see if these Banshees... Uh, he has two Banshees out now is expanding himself, Goody. Um, but, like I mentioned, Star Eagle needed to get the Engineering Ray up. He got it up. He's yep. got turrets. He's in a really good situation. And the unit canning station kind of proves that. He has two orbital commands and equal SCVs, but two orbital commands, twice as many mules, going to yep. have great income. Oh, yeah. It's looking very good for Star Eagle. I'm happy to see him starting to gain his stride in this particular tournament. However, you're still at the risk of the Goody Bulldozer coming out. We are going to get some aggression here by Star Eagle, but bear in mind that Siege Tech is well on its way. It will be finished by the time it gets there. Hellion comes in, and it sees it coming a mile away. Goody is not afraid to sacrifice units like that in order to be aware of what's coming. And by the time it gets there, there'll probably be two Siege Tanks deployed on the field, and that's going to be a lot of damage raining down on those Marines. Yeah, Siege Mode had just finished, and the kind of this attack he's trying to do here uh, he's trying to looking for the expo thinking Goody would expand behind it down there but at the same time we have Goody here uh, three kills so far and denying any mining but I think the Banshee is going to go down nice counter uh, and I still think that this guy's ahead like Star Eagle is still a little bit ahead over Goody yeah he's got the army supply he is he's not well He's technically slightly behind right there, but he pushes forward again. Second uh, Banshee going down there. That's Big hit by Star Eagle. Possibly a third Banshee. Does he have enough energy for a scan? No. So he's going to have to run back. However, bear in mind that Banshee is draining quite quickly. It's down to 10 energy already. He'll certainly lose some Marines from it, but he could actually turn around, stim, and kill it. It's about to decloak in the next couple of seconds. Star Eagle, of course, had no idea about that. Now there's the cloak down. Will Star Eagle respond? Yes, he does immediately going in there, but Goody is able to get away. And nice place. And actually, Goody pulls off at just the right time. Yeah, he's going to go back. Uh, now, take, basically, <coughs> take his expansion. Three tanks are going to be safe. Uh, when they get Siege Mode up, they obviously won't be safe. But there we do see Siege Mode going up. This attack will get repelled straight away. Uh, and... Whoa! Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch! Star Eagle, ouch! Good God, that was brutal. His lead's gone. His lead's gone. Uh, yeah, just thrown away straight away. Yeah. A very, very unfortunate. He should have sent a just a Marine forward to see if there was siege tank deployment. And it's Goody. Of course he has siege tanks. Yeah, and now basically his lead has gone. Um, Goody's 70 food, a little bit supply capped, uh, versus 66. Even though it doesn't look big, um, the, the food count, it will start to power away in, in Goody's favor. Because there's no way that um, Star Eagle can attack. And his Banshee doing more harassment onto these Marines, picking off units. He doesn't have any army at all. Goody could actually go out and contain his opponent once again and put that, you know, that chokehold on him. Yeah, it wouldn't really surprise me. The Banshee taking some free kills already on four, looking for the fifth. Can't do it. Can he get into the mineral line? He can. That's going to be a little bit messy. However, Goody's actually focusing on the army of his opponent, now finally doing damage to the middle line, takes one, looks for the second, takes that one as well. Excellent play, continues seven kills right now on the Banshee, looking for the eighth, and he gets it. That's a nine as well. Star Eagle now moving to intercept it. Probably lose the Banshee, but that was definitely worth the cost. Yeah, definitely worth the cost, and that's really, really good for him. Um, Goody now getting uh, a reactor on his factory. Blue Flame is in uh, being researched, and a lot of Hellions and tanks are out. Kind of the standard 
composition we do see from Goody game after game. Yep. Uh, money scan actually onto the army composition of Goody. So he knows exactly what he's playing against and decides to go take a third. And this is a really smart move by Star Eagle. Because he's a little bit behind, um, he needs to do something. Actually, he's got to be... Can he? No. Can he? Didn't he? No. 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 Can't be done. Can't be done. Stab him. Stab him, Goody. Go for him. <laughs> it's just... Oh, man. That is messy, messy stuff right there. And once again, the cloak... Oh, there you go, though. He grabs it. And of course, there's a forward missile turret. And Goody actually... Uh, Overcommits, really. You know, well, he gets in the missile turret range. He gets detected. Bear in mind, the detection range is larger than the range you can actually shoot. So, and here's a double attack coming from Goody. We have a flanking four helis on the right hand side. Are going to get denied by these two supply depots. So unfortunately for Goody, that won't work out. But he is moving down to take his own gold, as he did see Star Eagle with that um, gold up himself. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Look! Oh my god! You seriously, at missed deployment there, Star Eagle puts it in the wrong place and he slides past there. The entire mineral line is already gone. Oh god, what a critical error right here. Two blue flame hellions in the mineral line for Star Eagle. That is not what you want at all. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, that is that oh, I can't watch. Oh. I can't watch Apollo. Oh my god. Oh, why? Why, why? Star Eagle with a critical error. And it looks like Goody's probably going to take firm advantage of that and go for it again. Yeah, and he, the Hellions were actually inside the... Um the Tori de Riva de Merto. I see. <laughs> Thanks for that. We're Much in the sensor tower. No, sorry. the placement's too late. No, it can't be done. The barbecue coming in right here. However, he is able to deal with it. At least he didn't take, lose so many. But, oh, God, that is brutality. Worker supply so far behind. 28 workers back. And now Goody in a commanding lead. More blue flame hellions out of freaking nowhere. The last shot spitefully takes four more workers from Star Eagle. <laughs> 17 so SCVs compared to 58 of Goody. That's not good. Um, the sensor tower, which is a Tortiro Ventimento. Thank you for that. Uh, in, the, in the middle of the map, he's going to see this attack incoming. Um, I don't think, though, that he can hold this. It's going to be very hard. He does have a similar Ew. tank count, but Goody is Goody, and it's going to be hard to hold it. Goody? Goody? Is he? Yes, he is. He is Goody, and uh, that command center will... I don't know. It might go down. Blue Flame Hellion does significant damage to that force. Goody with the flanking attack right here. The deployment is in favor of Star Eagle, however, so the first round of shelling comes in favor of him. Oh. He's going to push it away. Goody's actually losing this encounter right here because he was just a little bit too slow. Yeah, a little bit too slow following that up. And actually, Star Eagle, even though I didn't think it was possible, could very well take this game as long as he attacks now. But I don't know. There are two siege tags uh, here on the natural. He's getting gun shy. He's getting gun shy, which is not a good thing. If he could use those medifacts, he could drop in and deal with them. The question is, will Goody be able to get back to the base? Army supply count is now in favor of Goody again. Goody's production facility is way, way more powerful, of course. He has the cash to rapidly reinforce. Once again, gun shy in a lack. That was a timing window that he could have gone in. He, it's, a, it's a double. It's a quad tank drop right into the base of Goody. It's looking messy. And of course, Goody's defensive line completely bypassed. They're comes the deployment. This is good stuff right here for him. It's looking very nice. He might even be able to stop the Thor. It's looking like he will. Yes, he does. He takes it. Cloak Banshee right now in the line. Aggression coming in right here. And the uh, work account is still very bad for Star Eagle, but there's still a lot of aggression coming in. Goody taking an awful lot of damage from this. He can't really play. He can't afford to do it. So many tanks coming in right here. Production facilities devastated right here. Goody being brought down right now. What can he do to actually respond to this? It's so hard. He's losing all of his production facilities. He can't build tanks. He's got a great SCV lead. He's going to send in SCVs to tank damage while attack moving with tanks. Oh, no, he loses a tank first. Oh, that's not good at all. Goody is taking massive amounts of damage right here by Star Eagle. Looks like it could be the comeback of the century right here. Tank light devastated. All gone. Nothing left in terms of Goody's tank light. Mules coming in as well. That's a smart move there by Goody trying to cause some chance. GG, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. Star Eagle takes the second game against Goody. Unbelievable play right there. What a comeback. The Panzer King loses a game in his most desired matchup. Unfortunately, he does do that. And wow, what a comeback. A Holy critical hell. mistake by Goody. Engaging or not really engaging, but trying to retreat into his siege tank line. Losing so much. And great decision making from him to... Um, actually do that and well just kill I mean, him, I'm you know, actually great, breathless great killing decision making right there you know it's a good strategy to go and kill your opponent I heard it's actually one of the best and as it turns out even that 
I, I, it staggers me to see that that actually happened. And the reason is that any other player would have probably just GG right that he lost everything he had in terms of his because of that critical error in terms of the supply depot placement through go the blue flame hellions the entire mineral line completely devastated but somehow he manages to get it he does the only thing he really can do in this situation was to just go kill him and goody makes some errors in terms of placement and that quad tank drop was devastating yeah and pff, what else can you say star eagle taking out Possibly the favorite for the entire tournament. We are going to go into the final deciding match. This is still in the group stages. Best of three. Goody already taking out his first game. And this is going to be, I mean, the first game in the group stage. And now we are going into this game on Scrap Station. Goody versus Star Eagle. I'm looking forward to this one, folks. We have Goody for you in the purple trunks. He's playing Terran right here on the Scrap Station versus his opponent, Star Eagle. In the pink trunks, he is playing Terran. One apiece in this best of three series. A comeback nobody saw coming, really. And you can switch to in-game now um, on the stream. Indeed. Um, that would be handy to... You don't uh, need to see our beautiful faces. We can do sign language if you like. It'll be absolutely fantastic. You know, what does an SCV look like? It kind of looks like this. There you go. That's a it, little man. bit of SCB action. Unfortunately, they, they good, did go back to game in, in time before they you saw your SCB. Um, <laughs> yeah. They didn't see your SCB impression, unfortunately. I'm sad. Uh, but this map is actually, in my opinion, going to favor a little bit of... It actually depends. I, I say it will favor the aggression, the aggressive player. But every game we've seen so far from Star Eagle, he's been on the defense. He's kind of gone for fast expansion. And Goody's been the aggressive oh. at the start of the game. And then transitioning into his... Um, feared Panzer mech style. Yep. And um, basically, Star Eagle needs to enroll in the anti Panzer division <laughs> because this is going to be hard for him to deal with. Indeed. Indeed. I'm trying to think you know, what's the weapon that they use there? So they add, get some anti tank weapons on the field, get a Panzer Shrek. You know, let's get Panzer a Panzer Shrek. Pan well, that was the most powerful German anti tank infantry held weapon, as I recall. Well, the Panzer Shrek. Admittedly, he's going to have to steal that from Goody's arsenal by the sounds of it. So that was a German weapon. And they're going to be having none not, of that. I'm not sure what the Italians do have uh, in their anti-Panzer. In their anti-Panzer? Uh, well, they didn't yeah. really have much anti-Panzer because, of course, they're on the side of the Germans. But there you go. Uh, we will not have a history lesson in this particular one, though. I would like to see Star Eagle actually make some history today and uh, actually defeat Goody because, you know what, that was actually some great play. Star Eagle was not confident in the first game at all. You saw how shaky he was, but it looks like he's actually found his stage legs. Yeah. And that's great. That really, really is. It's good to see him coming back. He does take the game from Goody. I, yeah, I, actually, I, I still I don't actually, believe that. I actually think that the four Hellion drop, uh, not drop, but that four Hellion that came in and did all that damage, actually killed Goody. In a way. In a weird way. Because it forced... It forced an him, attack. Yeah, it forced a, a, a kind of a counter-attack, which Goody got caught out in position, uh -huh. uh, which kind of ended the game. So in a weird way, it kind of killed him. But yeah, then again, I, I guess I guess the main thing that killed him was just that he was out of position. Well, yeah, but I'm, it was forced into that. It's from like, a, that well, I, I blew up 40 SCVs, and that lost me the game. <laughs> yeah. That's what he usually say. And then, of course, you point out there was four of his, 40 of his own SCVs. That would have been terrible. Yeah. yeah. Oh and dear. We are actually seeing mirror build so far. Both players, well, not actually both players, but Star Eagle opting not to go for uh, the fast expand in this game. Goody is going heavy into defense this time around, walling off now with a factory and a barracks. He's going back to what he knows, and I don't blame him after that. I think Goody was maybe getting a little bit too aggressive. He didn't really get the rollout that he wanted. He didn't get the economy that he wanted, even though he was able to do significant economic damage. So he's looking to fall back on what he knows, which is to play heavily in terms of defense, very passively for the first 10 to 15 minutes or so of the game. Yeah, we're going to have to see how this develops from here. Mirror builds, as we mentioned. Basically, mirror builds are still building the, the same amount of Marines too. Uh, the only difference between players is that Goody does have control in the middle of the Zelnaga Tower and does see any incoming ground attacks. But obviously, this being a very close air distance map, I'm going to suppose that the majority of attacks are going to be across the center area. And from Star Eagle, we have a second factory going down. This wouldn't surprise Infernal me. Infernal Night of Hellion. Yeah, you think? this, yeah. this uh, kind of makes sense uh, and could be very detrimental. Uh, to Goody and, we, and Goody, we have a starport going down, yep. uh, and also a tech lab being added onto the factory. Indeed. So it could be, uh, it could be anything really. It could be uh, Goody could go into tank drops. He could go into hellions. He could even switch up for, for a banshee, banshee yeah. again. Yeah, there's a yep. lot of different options. But like you did, like you did call out, is that we are going to be seeing some blue flame hellions. But the thing is, Goody has this hellion. If it goes into the base, 
And it looks like it might slide in there. However, it was nicely defended. And was that spotted? Well, he knows that there's a Hellion. He doesn't know it's got Blue Flame. He hasn't seen the double factory. Although the problem with these Blue Flame Hellions is, they, well, they can't get in yet. Right? They'll be able to harass an expansion, but they, they can't get into Goody Space at all right now. And it will give map control and not much else. I'm so smart from Goody, anticipating something like this because he knows that it's a close map between Ed, since Bill's a Viking. Uh -huh. uh, and that is really smart. Uh, and is actually going to go around and scout, and, and we'll see any, uh, you know, everything that comes here. Uh, very smart play by using that, and then even have the the starport being added. So we're basically going to be seeing from Star Eagle is the drops, uh, blue flame Helen drops. And Goody comes in. Actually, he doesn't see that much. I mean, mm. I thought he could have seen more. He only sees one tank. Well, not one tank, one factory and starport. He could have gone in much more than that, actually. Yeah. He's, he's a little bit overcautious. Engineering bay down, and the Blue Flame Hellion drop is really all he can do right now. Although, he does now have an access route into the base, but the thing is, Goody will see him coming a mile away, and that's what's going to be happening right now. Blue Flame Hellion is pushing forward. He's immediately moving the backs back into position to make sure that nothing's going to get into his base anytime soon. Star Eagle looks for an opportunity. No expansion yet, but it is on the way for Goody, so that could potentially be vulnerable, but I think maybe that Goody might start to deploy buildings across this this area right here that I'm highlighting for the viewers and just block that expansion off as well. Yeah, I mean, he's walled off his uh, his main um, so these Hellions can't come in and they just moved the starport to get the tech lab on there and there's no way he can come in with this tech. It's going to nope. be completely repelled uh, just by this one. Oh, oh my, my god! god! Goody! Goody, why? Why, Goody? He makes the same mistake as his opponent does in the last game. The mineral line getting devastated right here. He doesn't have... Oh, I don't believe it. That is unbelievable. One pixel, one pixel oh, away. Good he God. does clean up, but unit counting station, we have 16 SCVs compared to 28. Oh, wow. And now, Star Eagle is in a huge advantage. The thing is now, we have to ask ourselves, is Star Eagle capable of holding on to this advantage? Will he play it out or will he lose it? Great decision by going for this expansion. That is going to be key in holding it. Yep. And we even have the potential of a drop here. As oh, we yeah. do have Hellions with the start, uh, with this medivac, will he send two or four? Uh, now Goody is in a terrible situation. Even though the food count is the same, Goody has a lot more ground units. So obviously, Star Eagle losing them Hellions. Uh, and he's going to be coming in for a counter attack with this. He only has one Viking to defend it, but does have a good siege tank in position Will he be able to drop this? And he might even drop the Hellions into the mineral. That itself. would make sense because then Goody will not have control over that first tank shot. I don't know if Goody might even actually force him not to do that. He actually dropped to the back, which was not ideal. He's able to do some damage certainly in the middle of it and it redeploys the middle. I would have, as you said before, I would have dropped them directly in the mineral line. I don't know. Uh, With these Marines though, it could have been quite hard to get there. I don't know. Uh, I think he could have made it. Honestly, I think he could have. It would have been risky though, as you said. So that's perhaps why he didn't do it. Not as much damage as really could have been done there. Goody is rapidly catching up in terms of his SCV count, although this base will be almost complete. In the meantime, Goody's actually harassing this expansion. Star Eagle did not get the expansion up, and Goody actually has air superiority right now. Two Vikings onto one, immediately eliminates one before Star Eagle can do anything. This is problematic. This expansion is going to have to be cancelled by the looks of it. And Goody has his, you know, orbital command and a second set of SCVs building, so he's actually caught up with SCVs, uh, and he's going to expand himself. And it's gonna force a cancel on this. And the quest and the answer to the question I asked: Can Star Eagle hold on to his advantage? Well, the answer is no. No. Did he actually cancel that? No. No, unless I don't know. I, I didn't see. I, it. Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly didn't see it really. He has the minerals where he might have, but then again, he he had he wasn't building much anyway. Yeah. It didn't look like he cancelled it, but it was last minute. So. Unfortunately, right now, the air defense of Star Eagle is not good right now. Not at all. He does have a missile turret up there, but it's not close enough. That Banshee's going to take a terrible toll. Star Eagle's going to end up losing a siege tank right here. Needs to get more Vikings on the field. Needs to try and redeploy. There we go. Star Eagle now with two Vikings. He gets the initial salve off, which means he will win this engagement, unless he decides to back away. That was perhaps critical. Oh, repairs nicely done there by Star Eagle. He wins the engagement simply by using those SCVs. I thought, hey, maybe that's a mistake, but he managed to grab it very well. Still a lot of damage done to the army of Star Eagle right there. And honestly, I don't know which way I'd call this right now. Goody, uh, significant supply advantage, certainly. And now also has the SCV advantage and a fully functional expansion. Yeah, and now slaps down three factories just to, uh, basically, because he can, yeah. uh, is the answer to that. Uh -huh. And he has this expansion. Up. He's a little bit supply blocked and has been for a long time yeah. on 62, uh, which is a little bit ungoody like, if yep. you can say that. Ungoody like. Uh, ungoody like. 
We'll go for it. And I'm Star Eagle behind, unfortunately. And it's going to be hard to engage Goody because engaging a Terran base uh, or Terran army is just so difficult. The same reason how Goody lost the last game. He couldn't engage properly. Yep. And he looks like he's going to try. Uh, but Goody's a little bit out of position. He doesn't have... Oh, wait. Lunar Cannon Station, just to confirm it. Only three tanks. Yep. Um, but... It's only four for Star Eagle, so it's going to be quite hard. Plus, he has the Banshee too. Yep. Um, but he could have hit this window, a little bit of a window, if Goody decides to only add tech labs and reactors onto his factories. He's not going to be able to build anything, so it's going to be quite close. We're going to have to yep. see if Star Eagle can do it. He actually has the air superiority right now as well. Bear that in mind. It's four Vikings against one, and right now Goody caught out of position. Star Eagle not deploying as of yet. Looks for the push. Takes Banshee damage in the process. Yeah, it's very close. Goody with a nice turret. Actually managing to take down a Viking. Uh, so we only do have two Vikings here versus one of Goody's. Um, I think all that Goody has to do is just go in there with a few SCBs and should be able to wipe it up, especially because he has a hidden expansion at the back. Mm, yes, he does. That is some dangerous stuff, and that will give Goody the lead. However, Star Eagle deploying. Looking to try and get a missile turret up right here. Very, very smart idea. Oh, nice place by there. The Raven, look at that. Raven point defense drone stops the missiles coming in. The Banshee's taking a massive, massive toll on that siege tank line. And Star Eagle forced the pullback. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if he can pull back, though. He just slightly moves a little bit and has this turret here. We'll take the point defense drone yeah. down. But the longer this waits, this long before, um, the more units that Goody's going to have out. Oh, He's yeah. got a Thor now. It's going to be great DPS, just ground DPS. And Goody, like we mentioned, has this gold expansion in the back, so he's not going to be low on money anytime soon. Even if he sacrifices SCVs, he just mules the gold and they're back. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. However, Star Eagle now sitting on four. That is four Sea Shanks. He just has some Hellions in the mix as well. Sea Shank deployment is not looking amazingly strong for Goody, but that Thor is going to be very, very dangerous. Goody rolling out with a large force of Hellions right now. That expansion down the bottom now are fully operational, and of course, Star Eagle has no idea that's there. Star Eagle might be forced to pull back here, but looking to push forward a little bit. However, Goody already has the deployment, but he doesn't have the visibility. That's the vital thing right here. The deployment has come up. He doesn't have the air superiority at all. Shelling coming in from both sides, casualties on both sides, and it's a bit of a standoff going on right here. Yeah, it's a light containment from Star Eagle, but the, the thing is in a, within a, a containment, is you're meant to contain your opponent and not let them expand. Goody has an extra. Too late. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah so it, actually the containment doesn't matter. Um, his opponent has lost a lot of SCVs. Actually, um, oh, I didn't actually see the drop. We, we at, completely was, yeah, missed the drop. drop down there. Yeah, he, yeah, he lost a lot of SCVs in the main at the same time. So, I mean, Goody is just flying ahead here. Uh, and even if he just goes and engages now, I think he has enough to take it down. 30 food count difference. It's pretty uh, major. Goody, you know, just really strolling along in this game. Oh, yeah. Absolutely unpleasant right now. Star Eagle able to pick off a couple of Medivac, in fact, in Goody's base, because as I said, Goody just doesn't have the air superiority right now. However, Goody is rolling forward. If we have a look at income comparison, this is going to be the most vital thing right now. And Goody is really starting to get things rolling with that gold expansion, with those mules coming down on it. And Goody pushing forward right now. He feels like he's got the numbers, taking a large amount of damage, but he should be able to push through. He has the numbers, very easily able to deal with that. No problems at all right now for Goody. And unfortunately, that now means that the Goody push is going to get going. And a critical error as well. Star Eagle are losing yet more units as he pushes forward for no real reason. Here comes the attack, and will Star Eagle be able to hold it? I don't know. He has one Hellion doing a bit of damage with six kills on the SCB line of Goody, but he has no units. Two siege tanks versus um, five charging uh, siege tanks here, and a lot of Hellions to t uh, soak up some damage, and I don't think he can hold this for sure. Uh, I don't think so. It's going to look to be a little bit interesting. Star Eagle pulls SCBs. Off the line, looks like he's going to try and defend those siege shacks with them, maybe tank a little bit of damage and, of course, repair. However, Goody has no intention of going anywhere near that line. He's going to drill his way through those rocks. I wouldn't really call them rocks, just piles of stuff right now. And we've got a Thor deployed as well. This is going to be messy, folks. We've got this expansion. It is extremely vulnerable. And it looks like Star is going to be forced to pull all the way back. This is, this is all he's mining, really. This is everything he has in terms of his economy. Goody rolled forward, and now Star Eagle forced to pull all the way back. His income dropping like a rock to effectively zero. Yeah, I mean, he's got all his SUVs with his units. He's going to go in to try and clean this up. Even if he cleans it up, he's not going to have many units at all. He might go for a counterattack, actually. Um, he has Goody's no other choice. Base, but Goody has three 
four, five, six tanks in his home base mm -hmm. uh, and will be able to defend against this quite easily. And it looks like this could be the end of Star Eagle, though if somehow he manages to get rid of Goody's armies, just like we saw in the second game, oh, yeah. somehow he could be able to do this. Uh, Goody's not going to make that the same mistake again. As you see it right there, overlapping fields of fire right now by the Siege Tanks uh, for Goody. It's exceptional placement. Will Star Eagle be able to deploy? He's not doing that. He's staying mobile, which is a good idea right now. They do higher DPS in this situation, but he gives it up anyway. A great fight there by Star Eagle, but he just can't quite deal with it. And of course, Goody back on form with that amazing rollout, that bulldozer approach that just couldn't be